Welcome back to the channel YouTube. Today we're going to be tackling our brake lines here and upgrading them over to We're going to be tackling those brake lines back here and upgrading them to these stainless steel ones right here. So, tools you'll need. You'll need a pair of pliers to take off the locking collar on the brake lines. You'll also need a 10 millimeter, uh, 10 mil millimeter line wrench to take off the bolt here and a 12 mil ratchet to take off the brake line attached to the strut and a 14 mil bolt to take off the uh, bolt holding the caliper brake line onto the caliper itself. And some something to lay on the ground when the brake fluid spills so you don't get the brake fluid everywhere. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is to remove the bracket that's holding in the caliper, sorry, the bracket that's holding in the brake line to the hard line, and it's this one back here. I'm try to get this out without damaging anything. Alright, so this is the retaining clip that we just took out. And instead of using pliers, what we ended up doing was taking a screwdriver here and just kind of prying up on the sides to pull them out. So now that we have those out, yep. that'll allow for the uh, brake lines to slide down once we take off the hose right here. So here is where the uh, retention uh, bracket was. And once you take that out, you can move this rubber hose down here around. And next thing we're going to do is take off the mounting bolt right here. This one right here, and this is the 12 mil. Apologize for the noise. Got some construction going on in the back. So, now that we've got the lines loosened, we'll go ahead and take our 10 here and get ready to take off this bracket here. And once you've got that cracked open, Place your cardboard beneath it because you will be spilling a bunch of fluid out soon. Yep, there it goes. And go ahead and get your new line here and just go ahead and start tightening that in. That way you don't spill too much brake fluid. Go ahead and tighten her up like so. All right, so we've got the new line on there. We took a 17 mil to the bottom to hold that in place while we tighten up the top. And you will spill a lot of brake fluid. Um, I'm spilling a lot right now. It's part of the process. And what we're gonna do next is take off the bolt going into the caliper and get this in there so that we can stop losing all this brake fluid. Okay, so now that we've got the line in from the top, let's get our bolt, banjo bolt and washer ready. Be sure to use your crush washers. Get that in there, have it ready on the side, and let's get ready to take off our old lines. Go ahead and grab your new lines. Do banjo bolt and first washer. And put that back into the caliper. And you don't need to get this too snug, just hand tight and a little extra turn. And there you go. That's how you replace your brake lines with some upgraded stainless steel ones. And put everything back together, wipe this down with some degreaser so you don't strip your paint, and you're all good to go. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the rears. Um, it's gonna go ahead and time lapse you guys if there is anything of important note to keep in mind. I'll mention it, but otherwise, rears, going to be very similar to the fronts. So let's do that now. Okay, so rear is very similar. We've got a 10 mil uh, bolt here and a bracket down here held on with a 12 going to the 14 on the rear of the caliper. So let's go ahead and knock this out.
Welcome back. So we have finished doing the stainless steel lines on all four corners and we bled the brakes. And I've also swapped in some EBC red stuff pads into the front of the car with the Brembo's on it. Um, I haven't swapped in the EBC red stuff for the rears. I'm gonna make a separate video on that and showing you guys how to change your rear brakes without using a scan tool. But regardless, initial impressions after doing the lines and swapping in the pads, um, the response is definitely more immediate, I would say. Um, as soon as you step on that pedal, there is brake feedback. And you know, honestly, it's a little more, uh, the best way I can summarize it is from stock. It's not that dramatic of a difference because this car is still new, but I'd imagine, you know, going into the back roads and doing some spirited driving, these brake lines will be more resistant to feeling mushy throughout the uh, runs. But you know, immediate reactions is, I still think it's a worthwhile upgrade for a hundred some dollars that I paid for the lines and maybe 20, 30 dollars in fluid. It definitely makes the brakes feel much more responsive. Um, and the Brembo's now with the EBC red stuff pads in the front. They're also, uh, the Brembo's now with the EBC pads, EBC red stuff pads in the front. They're a lot more responsive as well. Like they have a better bite when you first press down on them. I think the pads I was using that came with the uh, Brembo's were just worn out. So that I have a bad point of reference, but from stock, the Brembo's with the stainless steel lines and EBC red stuff pads is a lot better than stock with the, the but compared to stock, the Brembo's with the stainless steel lines and the EBC red stuff pads are a good bit better than stock. They have a more immediate response. Um, pedal travel, I feel like it's a lot more linear compared to stock because I think on your stock brakes, they're very boosted, but now that you're up to a four piston in the front, they kind of even out the pedal feel, making it a little more linear. Other than that, you know, I, I've i got to say I'm very happy with this upgrade. Um, I can't, honestly, I can't wait to take it to some back roads and see how they hold up because the whole reason why I ended up doing these upgrades to begin with was I was doing some back road driving and the brakes faded after like two passes. So hopefully these will keep up. So if you found this video with upgrading these brake lines to stainless steel ones helpful, be sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Q Media, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.